sister any little thing you have just give to me so i can use for food and medicine for my mother please i'm not giving i don't have anything You're a cost child. Nobody will help you. You will die begging. Oh, you are still looking at me. I'm, 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 I'm. Thank you. I wish I could find suitable words enough to say thank you. Thank you for the love and kindness that you have shown me. The one that my people, the people of Amozala have denied me. Dalo. Dalo Rinne. Thank you. Do not thank me, body gods, for helping you through me. I have to be on my way. Stay blessed. Ogiri's herbs will do you a lot of good, oh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It seems the gods favored you again today. How did you manage to get money for the herbs? Now remember that woman I told you that keeps helping me every time. It looks as if the gods sent her to help us. Mm. Perhaps. Mm. You should know who she is and where she stays. We need to pay her a visit mm. to say thank you. We will, after you are well and strong enough to walk, oh? I will. Yeah. I will. Mm. Let me go and get something ready, prepared for us to eat, oh? Grandmother is sick. Beggar! Beggar, so you are here, Beggy. Oh, stop looking at me. What have I done to deserve such a cruel fate? What have I done to deserve this kind of hatred, humiliation and suffering? You have done nothing. Kind one, you are here. I have brought you a gift. How long have you been here and how did you read my mind to know my thoughts? I have been here long enough to know what hurts you deeply. Long enough to know your sorrows and affliction. But do not worry, for the gods are with you. Thank you. Thank you, kind one, for all your care, your kindness, your support. I don't know how else to say thank you. I have told you countless times not to thank me. But thank the gods for using me to help you. I have. 
have to go now. Let's go. No, 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 no. Come on, please. Not until you tell me your name. Tell, where do you live? I can come over and help you with some house chores, please. I beg you, please. Stand up. Do not be concerned about appreciating me, but be concerned about your future. For what lies ahead of you is a beautiful future, but filled with blood and sweat. is a beautiful future but filled with blood and sweat How are you feeling in here? I would be better if only you can share your worries with me. Mm. I'm just wondering for how long I'll suffer this rejection, this humiliation and ill treatment from my people. The people I call my own. Why are the gods cruel towards me? Why? What have I done? My daughter, fate is often a puzzle to we mortals. Yours is quite unfortunate and pathetic. How you are suffering from a deed of the past. Dust of tears raised by your late parents. Like I told you, it's a touching story. A story started before you were born. A situation culminated by your birth. Yeah, please. You keep saying that you will tell me this all about it at the right time when I'm fully a woman. Is it this the right time? Am I not woman enough? When are you going to tell me? Maybe you are right. Maybe this is the time you know. Time to tell you. Isn't it taking too long than usual? Certainly not, Your Majesty. Do not forget that this is Her Majesty's first experience in this journey. You don't expect less. However, the gods will soon see her through the way they saw your first wife through the delivery of your son, Prince Gideofo. I told you! I told you! She has delivered! Be God, be praised! Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, Your Majesty. Mboye, bother not yourself for the cry of the innocent baby. Has laid proof to the good news. Exactly. Is it a boy or a girl? 
a beautiful baby girl, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> May I take my leave now, Your Majesty? You may go. What a blessing. What Thanks, little girl, the gods. <laughs> For what they have done. Must you show your filthy self here every time you are drunk? Mm, let him be. He seemed more sober to me than drunk this time. Young man, this is not the first, the second, or the third time I'm seeing you around my palace. Brooding in this way, I demand to know your mission. Your Majesty. I, I only want to see my, my child, my blood. How may that be? The princess. She is my blood. How dare you speak such blasphemy? Do you realize the implication of what you are saying? I'm aware of the implications, my king. I cannot lie to you. Ask so much. Guards, bring him to the palace at once. You sent for me. Young man, repeat what you said. Your Majesty, I said I want to see the newborn baby, my daughter, the princess. What do you say to this? My love. It is high time the truth be told so that we can free ourselves from this bondage and tears. My king, he's right. He was the love of my life. <laughs> we shared an unbreakable bond. Something about you and me That makes me wanna cry Something about loving you That takes me to the sky Something by you and me is rating across the sky. Something about loving you is engraved in the sands of time. So the children can read your history 
And the elders can tell your bravery After rain, the sun must shine uh -huh. oh, oh. So you came into the picture and asked for my hand in marriage. I realized that he would be in great danger if anyone stood against the will of the prince and that could cost death. My king, I love him. I do not wish him death. My king, that was the reason I kept our love affair a secret. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. Please, please. You go. Why can't you just tell me you want to throw away everything we've shared in common just like that? We don't have a choice. Your life will be in danger should we go against the king's proposal. And if I refuse his proposal as well, you have to let me go. My lord, can't you just think about the whole situation? What about the pregnancy? Our baby? My first Lord. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. Look, we have to pretend that this never existed. We have to pretend that this pregnancy is not yours. Please let me go. Please. Oh, please. I must tell you. There is no love without you. I cannot love another. Okay. It's a lover. I tried to let it go, but I couldn't. On hearing the birth of my child, my first blood. My king, can you allow another to father your own child, your own first blood? I cannot be alive and watch another father my own child. That's why I, I am here to spew the What a shame! What a slander! What an atrocity! Both of you have destroyed me! My reputation as a king! You will pay for this despicable act! How I wish there's something worse than death! Both of you must be stoned to death! Igwe, 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 please, please, kill me, kill me, kill me, I, I, at least I will die. Kill me, kill me, at least my death would be because of love. Please don't hurt my child, please, I beg it you. It is not of you to decide her future, <laughs> nor her fate. Girls! Hey! Please! Execute my judgment. No! No, 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 please, you pay. Let her in. I'm leaving. 
serve your majesty. Who are you and what do I owe this intrusion? Your majesty, I am Ugunde, a poor helpless widow from this kingdom. I never had a child before my husband died. Because I am barren, when I had the ugly incident about Queen Machi, I decided to come and beg you, Your Majesty. Please give me the child. I can take care of her. I can be a mother to her. Your Majesty, I can give her hope. Instead of you, throwing her to the evil forest where she will have no hope. She can heal the tears of loneliness in my heart, Your Majesty. Please, Your Majesty. You may be right, woman. She is better alive to suffer her fate then die without pain. Especially with a helpless, poor widow like you, who can only give her hardship and pains of fate. Your request is granted. But do not forget that she's an outcast here in Amosala. She remains a product of curse and disgust to all inhabitants of this kingdom. But to you, who has accepted to bear the curse, and if you must take her, you must not leave on my soil. You must take her away, far away. Gods, make sure her request is granted. was how I brought you to this place where we can have peace I nurtured you from a baby to a woman that was very cruel very wicked they didn't my parents didn't do anything they were simply in love yes they were victims of true love like I always tell you, fate is often a puzzle. We can only live with it if we can solve it. So my daughter, wipe your tears. You go. If I did more, man, it's a lover, it's a lover, sicker, on a susa, manifest in us, a recall, a check at the check at the Adica Gayeru. How could I be having these strange dreams about this strange girl? Is she existing somewhere i 
worry yourself unnecessarily oh it, it, it's just a dream you know our brain can play on us sometimes you know let's go back to sleep dinner and I know Um, he came. My friends. Let's go get prepared. I think I want to go swimming today. My friends. Swimming? Yes. But you never liked it all your life. And you've never gone for once. So why now? Change is inevitable. Maybe the experience will be fun. Don't you think so? It will be fun. Come, let's go get prepared. <laughs> My prince, yes. you are taking the wrong direction. How so? As far as I know, this road leads to the river. <laughs> of course you are right, my prince. But that side is for the commoners. If you must swim, you must take the side of the royalty. This way. This other side is flooded with the villagers. And as we both know, you are not supposed to be seen with the commoners. You are wrong, Ikem. I choose to swim amongst my people. I can't drown myself in loneliness and boredom, all in the name of royalty. No. No! Your father won't be happy if he finds out. He won't! And how is he supposed to find out? Huh? Or do you want to run your mouth? After me. Now. Wait, oh. this one that you are standing under a tree, uh, peeping like a hunter, looking for a prey. I hope uh, all is well. Mm, all is well. I'm waiting for Ikem. He went to Mazibe's house. He will soon be here. 
He came. Mm. Are you sure? Kedin keba are you sure? Jai I'm Doka. Eh, Gawasi. You mean now? I'm Doka. Eh, na. I'm Doka. I don't trust you. Ha. I do kwa na ke. Jai je bezi enu. Ha. Jira je fubuko won gina mwa. Ya fun demo. Abo abo, why you dem abo abo? Come 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 come, abo ma come. Why you dem? Abo ma, how are you? Look, what can I do for you? Can I just see you privately? Hmm? I don't want ears to hear what I want to tell you. <laughs> Amaka here is my close friend, and I do not hide anything from her. So, say whatever it is you want to say. What is it? It's about what I told you. Gifikuzi, mm. what's your reply? <laughs> Have I not told you that I'm not interested in this, your stupid proposal? Hey. Eh? Look at, wait, oh. Look at me now. From head to toe. Check your no, no, no. Hmm? Do I fit into your class? Do you fit into my class, eh? Look at this village lay about. She ran rats like you. Don't come here and spoil my relationship with the prince, so. Abomma, mm. um. wait, oh. are you trying to tell me that you are seeing the prince? <laughs> oh, you even look surprised. You have no head. Now you know. Thanks the gods you know now. So please. Stay off me! Stay off me so that the prince will not have you punished though because you're going around with his girl. Mm. <laughs> hey! Hey! Um, Aboma, about you seeing the prince, I guess it's in your dream. Hmm? I'm not in your dream. I guess it's in your dream. Because the prince cannot see you. You are not even worthy to be a maid. At the palace, legu legu don't go. Legu da legu da ba detia. Ah 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 you insulted me and you included the prince that he, he, he wants to date on your hand. How possible is it? See, let me warn you, Adam Mama's grave. The next time you will ever walk or even try to walk the way I walk, if you see me, face your front where you are facing your back. If I slap you, eh? Now, that prince will come and pack your dead box. Come on, get out from here. Come on, get out from here. Come on, get out from get out get out from here. Come on, get out from get out from here. Come on, get out from here. Come on, get out from here. Come on, get out from we we'll come to think of it. Why do you go about spreading rumors that you are dating the prince when you're not? Amaka, you don't know how much I love the prince. It's just a matter of time. I will lure him into my world of love. Just what I say. I wish you the best, Her Majesty. Please, let's go. <laughs> Amaka. <laughs>
Where is she? The girl that just came and everyone walked out at her presence. Oh, <laughs> the outcast. Outcast? Yes, outcast. You see, everyone avoids her like a leper. Yes, because no one would like to incur the wrath of the gods. Where can we find her? My prince, <laughs> I do not know. And uh, why are you looking for her? Listen, Ikem, we must find her. <laughs> I am sorry, my prince. Uh, she lives in isolation. No one knows her whereabouts. Uh, I hope all is well. Ikem, we'll have to set for her. My prince! We'll have to set for her. It's okay, my daughter. I know how it feels to be rejected. But take heart. The gods knows the best. The gods, do they exist? Do they really exist? If they exist, why would I be going through this? Why would I be suffering for what I didn't do? Why would I have tears cloud my eyes? Why would I have so much pain in my heart? Why? The gods have not abandoned you. They will wipe your tears at the right time. At the right time? When is the right time? Is it when sorrows and tears have drowned me? Or when hardship and suffering has consumed me like a fierce furnace? When? When is the appointed time? The ways of the gods is not the same with mortals. All we need is hope and patience. Enugu. Uzugu. Uzugu. So she exists. Gods of my ancestors. How could I ever lose her? And now no one knows her whereabouts. What do we do? Where did where did we go wrong? There's no food. I've spent all I have on Ohogiri's herbs. There's nothing in this house. Uzuko, huh? The gods will not allow us die of hunger. They will provide for us. I am only troubled that you are bearing this suffering alone. Providing for us. This illness has kept me physically incapacitated. I only pray that the gods will reward you and give you the strength to move on. No, don't worry, it will be alright. The last thing I want is for you to worry about all the crises we are going through right now because I know it's not good for your health. Don't worry, the gods will see us through.
Ogini, yeah? What are you doing there? So, sorry, sorry, sir. I'm sorry, I was just picking food for my my mother. She's sick and very hungry. You? I see you every night in my dreams. Me too. I see you every night in my dreams. Come with me. I, I, I won't come back here. So tell me, what do you see me do in your dreams? Most times, I see both of us together happy, laughing and playing. Same with me. So, what could be the meaning? I have no idea. Oh, my prince, please, thank you very much for the food, but can I take it home? My mother is very sick and hungry and she needs it more than I do. So you mean you actually wanted to eat things thrown as trash? We don't have a choice. Okay, eat. There is enough here for you to take home to your sick mother. Okay? And henceforth, make sure you tell me whenever you need anything. Eat, come. Give you all this. Yes, Mama. Yay, fake a wonko. This is guinea fowl. Yes, expensive meats. Eh? Hey! That's very kind of him. Wonderful. Hey, the prince must be a very kind man. Maybe these are the signs of the dreams you were having. Eh? This is wonderful. Um, however, you must be very careful. Remember who you are. An outcast. Your life could be in danger should the king know about this. Try and avoid him. My prince, did you realize what you just did? To be seen with an outcast? He came! Whenever you refer to the love of my life as an outcast, I will relieve you of your duties in this palace. I don't care what you or anyone have to say. I don't see her as an outcast. But it's so mate. Do you realize I have known this girl all my life in my dreams? This is a girl I have shared a lot with. Can't you see? My prince, in your dreams, in your dreams you said this is reality. You have to wake up to it. The reality is that Mama and I have a lot in common. 
perhaps something too deep for you or anyone to understand. Can, can you hear that? Can you hear that? The gods can speak through the sky about our love. Seriously, this is taken out of hand. This is not normal. My prince, you need a spiritual help. Begin! Don't say that again. Watch your tongue! I am still your prince. I am sorry, my prince. I don't mean to disrespect you. No. It's just that this singular art could cause a lot of damage in the palace. My prince, please. I want you to stop seeing her at once. You shut up and keep your useless advice to yourself. Get out of my presence at once. My prince. Out! <clears throat> um, I'm, I'm here with my son, Chima. Uh, I just want to help him to actualize his dream. Uh, mm -hmm. That's why we're here to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, Thank yes. you. Your journey is a good one. Uh, yes. But like you know. Uh, it's not in my power to take such decisions. <laughs> decision is entirely my daughter's. Yes. Mm? Yeah. Let me call her to hear what you have to okay, say. Okay, okay. <laughs> nah. uh, Let me call. Uh, uh, I believe she will be fine and good looking. Yes, yes I'm always going for the best. Okay. Now. You know now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah. like my daughter is here. Okay. okay. Hey! Such a beautiful girl. <laughs> you know what is good. I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> this young man Chima is here with his father. Uh, yeah. For I'm your hand in marriage. <laughs> what do you have to say? <laughs> this one. Mama, I am not interested. Go and look for your class. Please, mm -hmm. I am very sorry. <laughs> I, I, I'll have to talk to her, please. Yeah, so, yeah sometimes it, it happens. Uh, she, might, she will change her mind. It's, it's, nice. not, our it's, 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 it's not, not our fault. It's not our fault. how could you be treating your suitors like this? This is the fifth suitor that is coming to ask for your hand in marriage. And you keep scaring them. Oh, Jimmy! Mama, why you me? Maybe go. I'm not interested in these villagers. They're all village poppers. And for the prince and prince alone, no. How long will you wait for the prince to propose? A man who does not even know you admire him. Are you the one to go for your suitor? Abuma has told you, you better leave the prince alone and settle down before it becomes too late. Remember, a woman's beauty fades like a flower. Mama, I'm going to wait for the prince. I will wait for the prince and I know very soon the prince will propose. Eh. Hey. Yes. You're going to wait for the prince. Oh, yeah, keep waiting for the prince. But do not say I did not warn you. Do not say I did not warn you! Mama, I will not say anything. Nonsense. Greetings, my friends. Mama, how are you? I'm fine. Um, my friends, I was wondering, can I pay you a visit tomorrow? That won't be necessary, Abuma. I have told you that this yoga won't work. I don't feel anything for you. My heart belongs to another. And who is that, if I may ask? Is there any maiden in this kingdom? 
more beautiful than I am. <laughs> Abu Map, the beauty of love lies not in the physical appearance, but the heart connection. But my prince, I am in love with you already. I can't sleep at night because I always think about you. I'm sorry about that, but sorry. Nothing can happen between us. As you can see, I'm in a hurry. He came. Let's go. Have a nice day. What do I do? I've tried every possible means to get the prince attention but none seem to be working. What am I going to do now? I love the prince, but he does not love you. You should understand that love is a thing that involves two people, not one person. You're only forcing yourself on him, and it won't work. But however, I have an idea. You have an idea? Yes, I do. Um. Please. Peace be unto you. Welcome. Thank you, Nick. I heard you are sick. How are you today? The gods be blessed. Thank you for your kind gesture towards us the other time. My daughter told me everything. Dalo, you don't have to thank me. I did what I was supposed to do in this situation. I didn't know you were coming. I know. Let's say it's a surprise visit. Here. I brought you some things you may be needing. Thank you very much. Thank you, my prince. Hi. May the gods bless your kind heart. It's a... May the gods bless you. Dalo. Hi. Thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate. You're welcome. What more can I do for a soulmate? So tell me, why are you considered an outcast? It is a heartbreaking story. Say it. I'm, I'm here. I'm ready to listen to you. Aboma, hmm? what are you doing in the palace? I hope all is well. Everything is fine. I came to see the queen. The queen? Mm -hmm. What for? You see, I came to volunteer myself to help you people in this palace with the household chores on a daily basis. Really? Mm -hmm. That would be wonderful. Okay, come with me. Let me take you to the queen. Your story is a sad one indeed. Considering all that you went through for something you know nothing about. I sincerely apologize on behalf of my father for his cruel decisions. I wish I was a man then. I would have stopped it. But thank the gods I found you. I am 
here to give you a shoulder to lean on. I will be your companion when you are lonely and downcast. Please forgive. Let go and give me the chance to make it up to you. Of what use is your affection now that everything has been torn apart? Of what use is my forgiveness after my parents were brutally murdered? I cannot do that which you ask me to do. It is impossible. Things can no longer be the same. It is too late. It is too late for what you ask of me. I can't. I'm sorry. Please calm down. I know it might be too late. But for this for this deep affection revealed to us by the gods through our dreams. It may be too late, but not to bring smiles and satisfaction to our faces like we do in our dreams. The gods have a purpose for our meeting. My daughter, yes, Your Majesty. You said you desire to assist in the household chores. Yes, Your Majesty. Whose daughter are you? I'm the daughter of late Mazu, made the blacksmith. Blacksmith. Oh, your father was a good man. No wonder you volunteered to make such a race sacrifice to the household. You are indeed an epitome of a virtuous woman. Your request is granted. You can start immediately. Thank you. Thank you. Your Highness. Father. Mm. Welcome, son. Good enough you elected to join me in my relaxation. <laughs> uh, take a seat and, um, hey, have a drink. Oh, thank you, Father. I do not wish to drink. I am okay standing. Quite unusual of you. However, I hope you are considering my decision about you getting a wife. You see, son, you are my only son, Jideofo, the prince and heir to the throne of Amosa. The destiny of this kingdom rests on your shoulders as one who heralds the future of this throne. Therefore, it is imperative that you get married and bear me grandchildren while I am still alive. Children, who will uphold the name of this family while I'm still alive, so that after journeying to the land of my ancestors, it will not be with regret and unfulfillment, knowing that I have not disappointed my ancestors. Father, like I said, I am walking towards that. But that's not why I'm here. I'm listening. Father, I wish to ask you a question about someone. Mm, and uh, who? A certain young lady called Machi, whom was murdered years ago, and uh, she was once your wife. Leaves, my prince. How dare you mention such a name here? How did you get to know about her? Listen, son. She is long dead and forgotten. Father, she may be dead, but history is not. History? What history? Yes. Why are you asking after her in the first place? 
Have you forgotten that I like history just like you do? I want you to tell me about her, her drunk lover, and her newborn baby. It's in the past. A bitter past I do not want to talk about. Now or ever. Since you do not have anything important to talk about. Leave my presence. I insist, Father. It is important we talk about it now. I shall leave my presence now! My son, what you heard was how it happened. But mother... It was an ugly situation then. But mother, that was so callous of father. How could he murder the lady and her lover like that? You see, some things are left unquestioned. Especially the decision of a king because it was considered as the wish of the gods. Well, I missed her though. As a co-wife, she was a wonderful person. May her spirit rest peacefully in the land of her ancestors. Finally what? The Queen has already accepted me. I told you it would work. You've never been more right. She has already started liking me and gradually I will win her heart completely. And above all, you will always be close to your dream man, the Prince. Amaka. Thank you. Am I supposed to cry? Thank you for the idea. I'll help you. Give me. Kind one, what are you doing here? I was waiting for you. Waiting for me? At this time of the night? Come to think of it, how, how did you know my name? Because I, I know I never told you my name. I am Machi, your mother. <laughs> my mother is dead. My body may be dead, but my spirit lives to protect and guide you. How do I believe you? Do not be afraid. I will not hurt you. This was how I was stoned to death with your father by the king for the love we shared. Is that why you have been so kind to me? A mother never forgets her beloved daughter. The first fruit of the womb. Why did you leave me? Why did you leave me all alone to suffer? For something I know nothing of. I'm sorry, child. I wish I can do more. I wish I can connect with you physically. But the living and the dead have a slim path to cross. However, be strong. For I will always protect and guide you. You are my instrument of vengeance. You are the one to destroy the prince. How do you mean? With time you will understand.
Thank <sighs> Welcome to reality, my child. What you had was not a dream. What? Mother! Kind one! <laughs> You are still worried about last night. I told you it's just a dream. Your imagination, it often happens. Nee, my dreams come true. Have you forgotten about the prince? Greetings, my prince. Peace be unto this household. I was about taking a walk, so I decided to invite you to join me. Me? Join you? Of course. I hope you don't mind my offer. Oh. Who am I to turn the order of the prince down? Your wish is my command. I take that if I It's a lover, it's a lover, sick out on a susa. To go to war with Amago Kingdom. Dialogue will be better. Big stop. I'll tell you. What's your highness? Long live the king. Ngobe. What is chasing you that you have to barge into my palace in such an unusual manner? Forgive me, Your Majesty. There's something very important I have to relate to you, Your Majesty. What did you see, Ngobe? Speak! I saw your son, our prince, taking a walk in such a romantic manner without outcast. Uh, Mama. What? Yes, my king. Are you now drunk with your own sweet wine? Do you realize the consequences of playing such a game with me, the king? I can't lie, my king, especially to you. Where did you see them? Just near Ndende River. Guards. Yes, your highness. Your highness. Take him. Let him show you where he saw my son and that girl. And if it's a lie, bring him back to me for a deserving punishment. But if you see my son, bring him to me. No excuses! Go! Yes, yes your highness. highness. Take us with him, please. Take us with him.
you know, ever since I started having those dreams, it's been too difficult to love another woman. I believed a day like this will come. I believe we are meant for true love. Mama, I love you more than you can imagine. Do you love me the same way? It's a love word, it's a love Erika. If I did a woman, I get in new Erika. Okoro, Obidike, what are you doing here? The king requests your presence at the palace at once. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? I'm sorry, my prince. It's a request from your father that we should bring you immediately. Enough! This is embarrassing. A total disrespect to the prince. I hope it's the king's order. If not, I shall personally deal with both of you. I'm sorry, my prince. We do not have any option but to take you to the king however we can. Enough! Stop back more. I'm sorry, my friends, but we must have to answer your father's call. He is the king of this kingdom and your own father. Please, let's accord him some respect. You associate yourself with such a cursed and disgusting fellow, a vomit of the gods. Father, she's my friend. I hereby forbid you from uttering that again. The prince and heir to the throne can never be a friend to such a thing. No wonder you were asking after her late mother. Listen, son. They are enemies of the royal household. Enemies of the people of our Mosala. And worst of all, cursed by the gods. Cursed by you and not the gods. I heard everything that happened. Your cruelty, pride, and unforgiven heart took the lives of her poor parents. And yet, you place her with an unbearable fate. A life of taunts and anguish. Father, how would you have felt if Wama is your daughter? Enough of this! I do not want that cast name mentioned around here. Neither do I want to see you with her anymore. This is my decision. And it is final! Okay. I still suggest we do not visit. At least not so soon. 
Your father, the king, is still very angry with you. And this could... Enough, Ikem! Enough! You don't run my life. Not take decisions for me. I am old enough to know what I want. So, I am going to see her. Are you coming or not? If I didn't know Erica, If I maybe go no It's a lover, it's a love a sicker, on a susa, manifest in us a rico, a jacket, a jacket, a dicker, a My friends, good day. What are you doing in the palace? I usually come around to help with the palace skills. Or oh, the other way around, you coming around to show me your beautiful self, as you said. How many times will I tell you I don't have interest in you? My friends, can we see privately? No. I don't have that time. But why don't you love me? Um, you know? I was really scared the other day when the guards came on the king's orders. I hope it wasn't anything troubling. Um, no, yes, um, not at all. Uh, it was just a minor matrimonial issue. Uh, but we resolved it. Resolved it. Pleasant to hear. You know, the guards actually interrupted my question the other day. What question? Do you love me? I want to hear you reply. How dare you associate with him after my warnings? How dare you? He is an enemy just like the royal household. You must take his life as a revenge of their brutality to us. He is innocent. He has done nothing wrong. It is not his fault. Any blood relation of the royal household is nothing but an enemy. They are monsters. Traitors. Murderers! I would have taken his father's life, but I want him to feel the loss of a loved one. You have to kill the prince. You have to kill him in cold blood. You have to take his life. I cannot kill an innocent man. You are my seed of vengeance, the one to kill the prince. <laughs> Take his life! I now. will not! Kill him! He didn't do anything! He's innocent! You don't have a choice! Kill him now! No! Take his life! I refuse! Now! What? What is wrong? With what? Are you okay? Who are you talking to? Was I talking to anybody? I... Uh, was I talking to anybody? No, no, what were you asking? Well done. Well done, well done I I noticed your mood after seeing the prince. What did you see him for? None of your business. Hmm. Okay, oh, well, it's just that I'm being concerned. Or do you want to start doing some private chores for in the prince's chamber? Hey, no, Fuju. Don't start mocking me now. I'm not mocking you, I'm only imagining. Okay, okay. It's, I'm sorry if I offended you, okay? I'm sorry, it was just a joke. 
keep such jokes to yourself, please. Um, Your Majesty, the rumor of your son, the prince affair with Mama the outcast, has raised so much dust in our kingdom. And we all know that it is a taboo that anyone, let alone the prince, and heir to the throne, be seen with such a coarse person. Therefore, we are here for you to put the prince in order immediately, or he faces the consequences of this despicable act. Have I spoken your mind? Oh yes, you have spoken our minds. Elders of Amozala. Okay. I have heard you. And I also want to apologize on behalf of the royal household for this shameful act of my son, the prince. And do not forget that I am the king. And I am more sad than any of you for this dent on our tradition. Nevertheless, I will do as you have demanded. Your Majesty, we have always known you as a man of high integrity. Oh yes. Just call the prince to order. Thank you for your understanding. What is happening to me? Loneliness and sorrows have I known all my life. Everyone has rejected me except my poor sick old mother. Now here comes a spirit who claims to be my mother, asking me to take the life of a friend, the only person who has given me the love and companionship I have never had, the one I have come to love. Don't forget that I am your mother. Hmm. How, how did you know what I was thinking about? I am your mother. Mother! There is a lot beyond your mother comprehension. I am who I am. Your only mother. I don't understand. How do you mean? For the love I have for you right from your conception. I have always sworn to protect you. For that reason. I took a mortal form. Just to save you from the evil claws of the king. Who was bent on throwing you into the evil forest where death awaits you. For all the love and sacrifices right from your conception to your birth. Why do you choose to pay me back with ungratefulness and stubbornness? Finding pleasure in feasting with our enemies. The same person whose father took the lives of your parents. Do you realize that you are my blood? My beloved daughter. Mother, please stop. You have done enough. You have sacrificed everything for me. You, you, you gave not just your life, but your love and protection. But this one thing you ask of me, I cannot do. He is the only one who has shown me love, extraordinary love, when no one in this village would. I can't kill him. I love him. Was it a crime to give birth to you? Or was it a crime to protect you all these years. Mother, please just... I can't do it. I cannot. Then you will know no peace till you obey my voice. Listen a little very carefully. Our Igwe 
you were about to one the has requested the presence of all the beautiful ladies in Amazon land to assemble at the palace for the selection of the bride for our prince. This is good news for all the family that has beautiful ladies in our land. He who are here today is family member and his brothers. People of Amazon, listen and listen very carefully. Our Igwe, Igwe Abakwadike Wa, has requested the presence of all the beautiful merchants in a Amazon land to assemble for the bright selection of our prince. This is good news for all the households that have beautiful marriages in our land. He who has here today is family member and his brothers. Listen and listen very carefully. Our Igwe, Igwe Abazo One, has requested the presence of all the beautiful maidens in our kingdom for the bride selection of our prince. This is good news for all the households that has beautiful maidens in our kingdom. of our prince. This is good news for all the households that have beautiful maidens in our kingdom. <laughs> nee, did you hear that? Great opportunity for us. <laughs> he's fetch with them. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Imagine that thing taking a walk with the prince. This is the reason the prince must have been rejecting my advances. But are you really sure you saw the prince with that cost thing? <laughs> oh, Loma. Do I look like I'm joking? Do I look like a joker to you? How did all this start? How? But what is the prince doing with a cost beggar? Come to think of it. Isn't it a taboo for anyone to be seen with that girl? Who can tell? I heard the elders confronted his father, the king, and gave him a mandate to call his son to order and also make him quit the affair, else he will be punished. And that was the reason for the bride selection invitation. That girl is a witch. That girl has used the love spell on the prince. But whatever it is she's doing, she cannot take the prince away from me. The prince is mine and mine forever. Dreamer. 
Do you think the prince is an easy to get type? Tomorrow is the bride selection uh -huh. day. Let's see who walks down the corridors of royalty with the prince. Me. Me, of course. Yes. We shall see them. Mother, am I not as ravishing as ever? Are you not the most beautiful girl in Amozala? Who can challenge you? My daughter, go to the palace and charm the prince and become the next queen of Amozala. Trust me, mother. No woman in this kingdom can stand on my way. Nobody. I trust you. Go. Go and make me proud. Go and make me proud. I want more. It's a love word. It's a love every girl. Go well. If I dip a room and I get in no every girl. A way to cut on a word. They can't know you just say no. If I didn't know every girl. It's a lover, it's a love a seeker, on a susa, manifest in a serica, a check at the check at the Adika Gayeru. My king, the prince is here. Father. Um, my son, today is your bride selection day, as we all know. And here, I have gathered the most beautiful maidens in Amozala for you to make your choice. They all can as well be yours if you so desire. <laughs> it's a lover, it's a love a seeker, on a susa, manifest in a serica, it's a cafe, it's a cafe, a dika gaerua. There is no doubt they are all beautiful as you said. Visibly attractive. But I don't like any of them. Yes, because I have someone, a woman whom my heart pleases. A woman whom my heart desires. I am sorry to disappoint you, Father. How 
Or could you embarrass me and the royal household by walking out on me in presence of those girls? I am sorry to have walked out on you, father. But I didn't have a choice. What choice? What choice? Those girls are beautiful. And they are from reputable homes that will match your status as prince. What else do you want in a woman? Love. That's all I want. And I don't love them. I have already said I am in love with someone. And who, if I may ask? The one destined for me, Mama. That outcast? Over my dead body. Watch your words, father. I have made up my mind. You will not dare me. I am your father, the king. And it is my future, my life. Abuma, come back. What happened? Did the prince not show up again? Mama, the prince is a coward. Shh! Do not say that about the prince before you put us into trouble. Don't you know that the words have ears? Come, let's go inside so that you tell me what happened. Your Majesty, when overnight pandemonium suddenly becomes hot, there is danger. It is obvious you cannot call your son to order and put this ugly situation under control. We, the elders and members of the royal cabinet, decided that your son has to face the penalties of defiling our tradition, which includes stripping him of the title of the head of the throne. Please. Elders of Amozala. Igwe. Igwe. I plead with you to give me a little time to take care of the situation. Just a little time. We do respect. You've been very patient with you, Your Majesty. However, for integrity in the past. Um, we will do as you requested and give you a little time. But if you fail to stop this illicit affair, the prince will be accordingly punished. My fellow Edda, did I speak your mind? Oh, no. oh yes, we have spoken, spoken our minds. What a cruel world. Why has fate continued to stir my life around like a heavy, violent hurricane? Peace and happiness is like the clouds of heavens to me. Each day I wish to feel them, but they remain impossible to reach. Anguish and sorrows like a heavy storm threatening to strike my poor soul apart. What is life without smiles and laughter? What is this life when loneliness and darkness has caught me like a heavy web? The gods of my ancestors, come and take my life away, please. Greetings, my kind friends. 
Why are you working alone? <laughs> One man would have accompanied you to wherever you want to walk. <laughs> Thank you so much, my son. Dalo, oh, better I'm fine. I am on a walk to exercise my weak bones. That's good. Uh, uh, moreover, one man is at home busy with house chores. Um, okay, no, that's good. But it's enough work for the day. Please let me take you back home. Hmm? Are you saying that I am done for today? <laughs> Mama, Mama is back. Stay away from her. She wants, she wants to kill you. What is it? Who wants to kill me? I have brought him here again for you to take vengeance. Blood for blood. No! I will not. I will not hurt him. And neither will you. Who wants to kill me? She wants you dead! What is wrong with her? My son, I don't know. She has been behaving like somebody that is mentally sick. <laughs> Lately. Uh, my love, I understand. Don't, don't come. You don't understand. I do. She wants to kill you. She wants you dead. Don't worry, no one wants to kill me. Okay? Listen, I can find someone who will help you get well mentally. Why won't you listen to me? It's okay. She wants to kill you! Don't worry. I'll go and come back for you. Okay? Please. You can't save him. You have to take his life now. I will not! That is your mission. Kill him now! Please. Why won't you her. listen to me? She wants to kill you! Don't worry, I will come back for you. You mean he went to see her again? Certainly, Your Majesty. I followed him as ordered. And I discovered something, Your Majesty. The girl is very ill. Yes, she is mad. Really? Yes, Your Majesty. I followed him from the beginning of his journey till he left. Your Majesty, it will soon be here. He's on his way coming. Comes. Greetings, Father. And where are you coming from? I went to see a friend. Friend indeed. Did I not warn you not to see her again? Why did you disobey me? I did not disobey you, Father. I followed my heart. By associating with an accost? She is an outcast! And she is also a human who deserves to be loved and cared for. 
since you made her an orphan and caged her in a world of loneliness and sorrow, all I can do is give her a sense of companionship which you stole from her. Will you shut up? What do you know about life and companionship? Is it by associating with your caste? Is that what you call companionship? Is it by gallivanting with a lunatic? Somebody who is mentally sick? What you refer to as companionship? Uh, Father, how did you know about her mental problem? What a child stretches for his hand to pick while standing without success. Another picks while resting on the comfort of his pillow. Desist from that relationship or you will cease from being my son. That is your choice. Leave my presence. never cease to amaze me. You mean you want to take the girl for healing? My prince, why? Why an insane girl? When there are many beautiful and same maidens in Amozala. My prince, is her condition not enough reason to make you quit? We do not understand the game. <sighs> Wama is the only one my heart desires. We have a destiny to be together. I told you my dream explained it all. Our love, our love is made in heaven. Please, I want you to help me, okay? What are you doing here? Mwamurunamma, my child. Why have you chosen to disobey me because of an enemy? I cannot have his blood on my hands. I love him. You cannot love an enemy. The one that took your parents' lives. It was his father, not him. The sins of the fathers lives with their offsprings. You have to kill him so that he can feel the loneliness and sadness you have felt all this week. I cannot grant your request. Please leave me alone. You have to do it. Leave me alone. I will not. You have to do it. I will not. You have to do it. Leave me alone. I am not going to do it. He has done nothing wrong. One more. What? You are here. Yes, I'm here. Please, you have to stop coming around me. Your life is in danger. Please. Listen, I am safe. You see, I have come to take you to someone who will help you get well mentally. You must come with me. I am not mad. I know. I am telling you the truth. I am not mad. Please be calm. You, you need to leave this place now. Uh, I know. Your life is in danger, I please. Know, but you have to come with me. What? There's nothing wrong with me. Wait, 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 wait. I'm calm. There's nothing wrong with me. Wait, what is this? What? Stop, stop it. There's nothing wrong with me. Wait, wait, wait. If you come around, there's nothing wrong with me. Mm. 
wrong with me? Leave me alone. Leave me, me alone. Oh, what is it? Why are you dragging me like but this? Wise one, please. One. Help me. Uh, wise Stop one. it. Wise Why did one. you bring me here? Hold on. Wise one, please. I want you to help me. Make sure she gets well soon. Take proper care of her, please. What is wrong? Oh. I am not mad. There's I... nothing wrong with me. My friends, my friends, how long has she been like that? How long has what? My love, please. Um, it started some days back. There's nothing wrong with me. I am not mad. Simple. Leave me. No, no, calm down. Calm down. Calm down I, I, I want you to take care of her. Eh? Be assured, I will pay you handsomely. Please. Don't. She'll be fine. I promise you that. Okay. I promise she'll be fine. Okay. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. I am fine. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm not I'm mad. Fine. I'm not mad. No, I understand. If you tell me. I'm okay. I said I'm not there's nothing wrong with the world. I said I'm not going to be Wise one, my prince, please make sure you do your best for her to get well. I promise you, she'll be fine. Nothing will happen to you. Okay. I promise you that. I will leave now to get something she may be needing. Okay. I will see you soon. No problem. Thank you. She got something to you. Thank you. She'll be fine. Thank you. My prince, yes. honestly, I have never seen a love affection like yours. Permit me to ask you this question. Can anything stop you from loving her? Only death. Despite all I have said, truly, you have a golden heart. I admire your heart. Thank you, friend. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Mamma, Namma. What do you want from me? Haven't you done enough? Please leave me alone. I will not until you agree to obey my command. Just leave me alone. Out of here. I am doing this for your own good. For our own good. For the sake of God. I am not mad. I am not mad. Why would you put me in the midst of bad people? There's nothing wrong with me. I only said you need to stop coming around me because your life is in danger. Now you're doing this to me. I am not mad. Just get me out of here. I am not mad. Destiny. Destiny.
something about you and me that makes me wanna cry. My prince. You have to take it easy. You have refused to eat anything for days now. Huh? My prince, do not jeopardize your health for love. Please. I just wish she gets well soon. My prince, if your love is truly destined by the gods, they will see her through. Cheer up, please. Aboguri. My prince. What is her fate now? The gods are always kind. My prince. Destiny. Something about destiny Something about you and me Something about destiny Something about you and me Something about you and me that makes me wanna cry. Something about loving you that takes me to the sky. Something about you and me is rating across the sky. Something about loving you. Is engraved in the sands of time So the children can read your history And the elders can tell your bravery Through the night the day will come After rain the sun must shine uh -huh. oh, 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 oh. You mean none of you knows the whereabouts of my son since last night? Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, we have asked all the maidens and guards, and none has seen him. Your Majesty, you must go and search for him. Search the nuke and cranny of this kingdom you must find my son don't return if you do not find him as your majesty pleases you must not return without finding him greetings father and where are you coming from jidofo i want to see a friend so i pass the night and what friend is that that will make you lose the comfort of your bed like I said, it's just a friend. It's not necessary knowing who. At least I'm back. Will you shut up? It is obvious, isn't it? You went to visit that witch again. Thereby disobeying my orders. How dare you? I'm sorry. You know, I have never disrespected you like this before. But in this case, I can't help it. I love her and it's only death that will separate. Enough! Enough of this blasphemy. How can you love 
an accursed thing when Amosala has a lot of beautiful maidens. Do you know the disrespect you are bringing to the royal household? The incessant heat and threats from the elders and members of my cabinet? You must cease. You must cease and never see her again. All you see is being the hair and kiss the throne. Goodbye. Beautiful option. Fine and good. You see, Father, I don't care. I don't care about your threats. I don't care about your aces and teeth. It is her or never. If you don't mind, I wish to retire to my gym. And please do not call her cursed again. I can feel your tears, my beloved one. I never meant this to happen to you but love and happiness. But you disobeyed me. I will give you a second chance. And if you fail to heed to my instructions, doom shall be the outcome. If I Spirits of the dead, what do I owe this visit? You are keeping my own in physical bondage. You must let her go, for she is mentally okay. She's just a victim of circumstance. Let her go or face my wrath. Which of my patients do you speak of? Mwamuronamma, my child. The one the prince brought to you. How is she doing, Abogu? She has totally recovered, my prince. Yes. Really? Now, I promise you one thing. She will never, ever behave strange again. Are you sure? Obogri never lies. My tongue is that of the gods, my prince. Abogu, I will reward you handsomely. You're welcome. Thank you. My word is my bond. My love, I'm sorry. I did it because of my love for you. Thank the gods you are well again. You don't owe me any apology. I owe you every appreciation there is. You have proven to me that what you feel for me is true love and it is unconditional. Perhaps you were right when you said that we have a destiny together. And I can see 
that our destiny is to be together. We have overcome everything. Trials, tribulations. There is no doubt that the gods are with us. I love you my hero. And will do till my last breath. Just promise me. That nothing will come between us. Only death. I have never loved. And now that I wish to do so, I wish to do it with all of my heart and my soul. And if this is the same with you, let us seal our love. Let's take an oath before the gods that we'll be together forever, even in death. Your wish is my command. We, we have come, come before your presence, great and gracious Ogwale, to, to confess our love, our immortal love for each other, to swear an oath of an unbreakable bond. Even in death, our bond remains unbreakable till we unite in immortality. You are our witness. We swear that consequences shall befall whoever breaks the oath. Grant us peace and laughter, prosperity and good health. I could take you home with me. But it's too dangerous for you. I am going home to put things in place for us. And when I do, I promise to come take you with me to live with me forever. May Ogwali guide and protect you. I will miss you. Same here with me, my love. Take care of yourself. You too. I cry. Something about loving you That takes me to the sky Something about you and me Is rating across the sky Something about loving you Is engraved in the sands of time So the children can read your history and the elders can tell your bravery oh, no, no, no. Through the night the day will come After rain the sun must shine oh. Life can never be bought 
And love can never be showed Times can never be changed So the history must be told Something about destiny What are you doing here? We're here to send you. Mama, my love, please, please wake up, please, my love, no, 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 please, please don't do this to me, my love, please, ah. no, please don't do this to me. I hope you carried out the mission. Yes, my king. She must have been with her ancestors by now, my king. Good job. Now you may go. <laughs> you! Huh? For the pains you cost me, you shall pay with your blood. My king! Your Highness! My... Stop! Calm down, Prince. The Iroko has fallen. What? 
it is indeed a very great tragedy that has befallen us. And we must all take heart. Yes. Igwe was a very good man. However, the gods know the best. Especially why he has to take part in such a mysterious manner. Indeed, we shall get answers when we consult the gods. Um, Jidofo, as you can see now, the staff of kinship falls in your hands. But your actions of late by associating with that outcast is a blow to our tradition and a sign of incompetence. From an heir to the highly prized throne of Amozra. Um, we forgive you because of your father's many legacies, which is supposed to be honored by his last wish which is seeing you succeeding when you join the ancestors. Now, we want to categorically tell you that the corpse of that outcast can never be buried here. And no inhabitant of this great kingdom will participate in her burial. She belongs to the evil, evil forest, and that is where she must be buried. Have I spoken your mind, Edas? Oh yes, that's the custom. But no, you have spoken really well. So that is it. That the corpse of that outcast can never be buried here. And no inhabitant of this great kingdom will participate in her burial. She belongs to the evil forest, and only there can she be buried and forgotten. I understand how you feel over the death of the two most important people in your life. My prince, you have to take heart and be strong. Remember who you are, the future king of Amozala. Be courageous and rise, my prince. The elders are waiting. We all know what you are passing through, our prince. Nevertheless, don't forget what you represent. Herod of the future. A king is not identified with weakness. I want you to be strong. Now that the mourning period of your father is gone, I want you to get prepared for the throne, which includes passing through the crowning rituals and getting a wife to be crowned as queen with you. As we all know that tradition cannot permit you or confirm you worry for the tax unless you put yourself in a family way. So, you have to. I thank you all my elders for your concern on the matters regarding the throne and Amozala. And I want to tell you that I am very willing to pass the crowning rituals. <laughs> Except for one thing that I may not get married again. Eh? For I already considered myself once married to the woman I loved so much. We may not understand you. But as far as we are concerned, you have been a single man all your life. Yes. Jidofo, if a hand begins to crawl like the cock, abomination is rife. So what exactly are you talking about? You may not understand. Eh? 
Truly, you may not understand. Huh? Maida, is it necessary to explain to you? <clears throat> um, Jidofo, in that case, you must get married. Yes, and soon for that matter. Unless you want to lose your place on the throne. Yes! Well, I have heard you. I will take my leave now. Hello, eh? Oh, where? Hey! My prince, how can you think of losing the throne because of the oath you took with a dead woman? It's unthinkable. The spirit of your late father will never forgive you. You can. My prince. You do not understand. You do not understand the bond Mama and I shared. It is an immortal love. I cannot love another. Not again. My Prince, I understand. But you must have to handle this with great wisdom. You can get them a wife. Yes. Any woman at all to walk down the royalty with. But deep in your heart, she never exists. Just a game. Only you and I know. It's just a game. He can. You can even marry that Aboma, that pest. Yes. He can. My prince. Your wisdom is attractive. <laughs> Believe me, you are not too young to be among my cabinets. Ah. Thank you, my prince. <laughs> Let's go. At least you are able to put a smile on my face. I... I don't know what to say. I'm sure it was. <laughs> Greetings, my prince. I wasn't expecting you. Let's say it's a surprise visit. So what do I owe this honor? To your hard desires that you so craved for. I don't understand. Let me make it simple. Just like I have come in my simplicity and alone. Will you marry me? <gasps> yes, yes, my prince. I'm sorry. Our prince, have you finally agreed on the terms regarding the crown rituals and uh, getting a wife for yourself? Yes. <laughs> 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 this is a good sign. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Something about you and me that makes me wanna cry. Something about loving you that takes me to the sky. Something by you and me is rating across the sky. Something about loving you is engraved in the sands of time. So the children can read your history and the elders can tell your bravery. Through the night, the day will come After rain, the sun must shine uh -huh. oh, 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 oh. 
some breast. How? I mean, why are you doing this? This is the eight days since you got married to me and you've refused to, you've refused to make me feel like a woman. What? What? Huh? You asked for marriage and I give it to you. What, what do you want? Sex feelings, my husband. Feelings? Yes. Like I said, it never existed. I want to sleep. And now. Fact, 
I'm hurrying to come and see you. To see me? And what did you see? I saw the king sitting on late Mama's grave, <laughs> crying heavily. You mean the king seated on that outcast grave? Abu Melix. Is there? Abu Abomination. Aru. Let's go and see. Aru. Aru. When the sun goes down and the moon comes up When you cry, I'll be dead You can run to me, I will rescue you Oh baby, swear I won't run Oh Don't tell me that what you just said is true. Mm -hmm. That a highly ordained king of Amazora has caught so low to the level of crying on the grave of an outcast. A hey. bitter truth. We must do something. But the question is, what do we do? Oh, oh. Where have you been? Perhaps not something for you to comprehend. What is happening? What is happening? Ever since you married me, you barely have time for me. What is wrong with my husband? You are my husband. Don't even make me feel like a woman. Aboma, we've been through this over and over again. Don't you get tired? Well, if you're not, I am. It's a love word. It's a love Erika. If I did a woman and get in no Erika. A quaja katana or dika na ye just in no. I, if I didn't know where it got. My daughter, it's okay. I understand how you feel. Because I am also a woman. I will talk to him, okay? Please, better do. Because I'm fed up with his excesses. Calm down. Cheer up, okay? Remember, I am his mother. He will listen to me when I talk to him. Akugum. Elevele Zal. I'm a letter. Don't worry. He's good. My son, just talk to your mother. Tell me, what is the problem? Why are you torturing her this way? No woman would be happy if her husband refuses to give her attention. Worst of all, if he refuses to share their matrimonial bed with her. Just promise me that 
she will make it up to her today. Please. I can't, mother. I am not in the mood. Besides, I do not have such feelings for her. But she is your wife. That's what you people asked of me. The wife? And I got you one. Please don't ask for more because I can't give. I do not wish to waste my energy on this matter for I have more important things to attend to. It's a love word. It's a love Erika. If I dip a woman and get in new Erika. A quick catan or dick and I just say no. If I didn't know Erika. If I may be gone, it's a lover, it's a lover, it's a girl, a sister, man. I have missed you so much, my love. Same here, my jewel. How the wicked heart of men spat. We are not apart. We are not apart. We'll always be together forever. Remember. There is a note. How is that when I can't feel you? I can't see you when I wish. How is it so when your sonorous voice is gone away from me? We are now world apart. We are not apart. We share an unbreakable bond. And nothing, not even death, can come between us. I don't understand. The wisdom of the spirits and the gods are hidden from mortals until there's a need. Like I said, we shall be together very soon. Farewell for now. Mama. It's a love word. It's a love, Erika. It's a love, Erika. It's a love, Erika. Mama, you mean you saw him speaking to himself last night? Yes, my father. I saw him. This is all strange. I mean, just a few days ago, we saw him crying by one man's grave. <laughs> I think the death of that cause one is eating him up emotionally, possibly mentally. And in this year, if we do nothing, he will run mad. Yes. The question is, what do we do to salvage the situation? Your Majesty, we are very concerned over your well-being as our king. Therefore, we are troubled about this new development. I mean, we are gradually losing you, considering this your mind-blowing attitude of late. You see, your character these days is psychologically abnormal. Spending most of your time at that cost guess grave. Enough, Olu! Enough! How dare you call a cast? When you and my late father can rightly be referred to as the cause of our misfortune. How dare you curse an innocent girl even in, even in death? You know what? You old fools here are the one mentally challenged. And I do not wish to have a sitting with such gathering. I will retire to my chamber now. And from now henceforth, should anyone curse the late Wama? I am still the king. He or she will face the grave consequences. I have spoken, and so shall it be. Hey! 
Oh no. Hey, who are coming, please? Hmm. I have seen a rabbit in the daytime. My love. Eat. Again. Eat and show me that our love is still unbreakable. Like our last moment together. I can never forget how this meal brought so much satisfaction and joy to my broken heart. I can never forget your generosity and your kindness towards an orphan. But you must realize that our worlds are apart. Much as I want to partake of that food, I cannot taste it. I can't even feel the softness of your palms. But don't worry, we shall be together very soon. My love, how, how is that possible? Nothing is impossible with destiny. Just believe. I miss you so much. My love, I miss you. Something by you and me is right. Sorry for making you shed all these tears. As you can see, there is no love from me to you. All you will ever get is emptiness and heartbreak. Please, I beg you to leave me and find yourself someone deserving. Someone who will wipe these tears. I wish I can do all that, but sorry. I am in love with someone even the gods can stop me from loving. I married you out of pity for your passion towards me. Out of the same pity, I beg you please, live so you'll be happy. It's about her, right? You can't even let her go, even after death. <laughs> I've heard what you said. Perhaps no one can ever be more right. I will go. Thank you. Thank you for breaking my heart. Thank you for setting me free. Thank you for making me live with this pain. I will leave you. And I hope you'll be happy. Thank you. Ugebem, what is the problem? Since you visited, you've not said a word. And you visited with all your belongings. 
I am your mother. Talk to me. What is it? The king has finally sent me packing. He said he does not love me. What have I done to the gods? Fate has really played a fast game on me. It's okay, my daughter. Don't blame the gods. For they have purpose for each mishap. Oh, no. What I can tell. Your Highness, isn't it obvious that you are breaking down mentally? Please, give us a chance to help. Just yesterday, you sent the Queen, your wife, away for the same reason. Enough, elders! I have told you severally, I am okay. If you think otherwise, fall in love, lose your soulmate, and see how it hurts! Let me be. My fellow elders, it is obvious that things have gotten out of hand. <coughs> <coughs> My elders, mm -hmm. we cannot fold our hands and watch things go wrong. You are both correct. We cannot be ruled by a king who is mentally derailed. A madman. I don't about good man. It's okay, it's okay, then. He said we must have to watch our tongue while talking about it. Mm. I think I have an idea. Mwalika, beauty of the gods, you haven't said anything to me since your incantation. I'm sorry, my child. He is in an unbreakable bond. He's tied to an immortal love that neither mortal or death can separate. My daughter, don't come in between them or else you will die. Ovuku Aspoku. I can only do you more harm than good. <coughs> if only you had listened to me and married one of those suitors that were asking for your hand in marriage in the past. And forget the prince. It wouldn't have been like this. 
you should understand that all that glitters is not gold. Now look at what you've got in return. Being sent back in from your matrimonial home in such a humiliating manner. Now tell me, which man will agree to marry you now as a second-hand wife? Mama, please. Please, I beg you in the name of the gods. Stop reminding me of my misfortune, please. My daughter, I don't mean to hurt you, but I am your mother. I can only tell you the truth. However, take heart. Forget the prince so you can live again. Become one old. Mama! Mama! They can reject you. But I'm your mother. I will not. You're always welcome. Mama! Oh, <laughs> But could you all think it's beyond your mortal comprehension? However, I have a solution to your problems. Johnny is too far. No, you have to be strong. I am tired. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I can't go farther. It's for, for the sake for the sake of our uh, community. Uh, it's for the sake of our kingdom. Let's go. Uh, yeah? Please. Like our Onowu has rightly said, we are here to ask for the hand of your daughter, Ola, in marriage, yes. on behalf of our king. <laughs> <laughs> so we are patiently waiting for your response. Yes. <laughs> That's why we are here. Nietzsche. Hmm? <laughs> what else can I say? Huh? That the gods have favored my household. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
attend that and say yes. Go on. Give me what I want. Give me what I want. What I got. My love, be vengeance for the gods. It is not his fault. They were only victims of true love, just like you and I. Even in death, the memories of our love is still alive. Unbreakable love. Just like they are, it's so much sacrifice. Please be calm. And do not forget our past. Brother, leave this Mashi alone. She's going to put you into trouble. No? <laughs> leave who alone? Mashi Inkem. I should leave the love of my life alone. Magagene. See, let me tell you. I'm just telling you this because you're my sister. And that's now why I'm a one Nibia. I'm telling you how I'm going to talk to her. Hmm? Just listen. I'm going to tell her. Machi, you are the love of my life. You are the only person that has won my heart. In fact, Machi, I love you more than my mother. How do you see it? Brother, even your own mother. Mm -hmm. How can you say such a thing? I love that. You don't know what I'm saying. If you don't know what I'm saying. Hey! Bia! Bia! Hi! So you're looking for another victim? You are looking for another woman to get pregnant. Yeah. Now listen. I heard you were saying you will tell her you love her more than your mother. Remember this is your same mother. My wife carried you in her womb for nine months. And because of your stubbornness, you refused to come out. She had to carry you for extra two months. That means you spent 11 months in her womb. Until you came out. She began to nurture you, pipi gaggy, pipi gaggy. She pipied you until you grew up to become a full grown uh, uh, idiot. Hmm? Chinedu, I am a noble man in this village. I don't want you to bring shame to this family. I don't want you to bring shame to this family. In fact, you are not even a full-grown uh, 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 idiot. You are a full-grown monkey. When you grow older, you will now become a full-grown chimpanzee. Uh, Papa, stop, stop calling me all those names. You, you think I, 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 I don't know? When, when you were, you were, you were uh, toasting my mother, didn't you tell her you love, you love her papa, more than your mother? Oh. Were you there? I wasn't there, but people were saying that you were following mama as, 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 as a semi-goat before you got married to, 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 to her. Huh? Semi he go to more and we you are calling your father and we semi semi you are calling your father and we papa in fact whatever I'm doing I inherited it from you eh like father like son you are a full grown monkey oh oh and you are a father of a, a full grown father of a full grown baboon I'm out of here this is why I, I cry every day there I'm talking to you and you're walking come here chill do you see your brother or when I home one nigga walker you see your brother, listen, tell him not to bring shame to this family. Tell your brother not to bring shame to this family. Papa, I've talked to him. I don't know what to say again. Anyway, no problem. Um, go and arrange my food. I am just coming from the farm. Eh? Okay, Papa. Hi. I love you more than my mother. If you go to I must finish this with him. I must finish it. Leave me alone. I love you. Hmm? You are the only girl that has won my heart. 
I love you more than my mother. Chinedu, and I have told you that I am in love with someone else. Get that into your head. Machi, calm down. Calm down. Piko, Afwana Mgenanya, wait to Obi. Chinedu, rap Omaka. Rap Omaka! I will not repeat myself again. Machi. Imagine how this girl insulted and embarrassed me even after the slap I received from my father and all the sacrifice. This girl is too stubborn. Something must be done. Something must be done. I want you to do a good job for me so that in due time I will have a big con. <laughs> yes. Nani <laughs> Okafo, you don't have a problem. If you are in doubt, you can ask questions from those that I have worked for. They can attest to my credibility. I know. I know. That is the reason I employed you. <laughs> Thank you, Nani. Thank you so much. Good work. Good, good product. product. All right, my no, God. No. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you so much. Sorry. What are you doing here? I was told by Mazi Okafo that you're clearing his farmland. Honestly, I must tell you I'm no longer comfortable with this. It is too tedious for you. What do you expect from a poor orphan like me? If I don't do this, how do I survive? You have me. Let me bear this suffering alone. See. I can't risk you for anything. Not for this tedious farm clearing. You call you call job or what? You have been of immense help to me. You have done more than enough. It will be selfish of me if I ask for more. Since I lost my parents in the cold arms of death, you have been of immense help to me. You have single-handedly helped me through every step. Allow me to contribute to our welfare, please. Please, let me do my part, please. If you insist, your wish is my command. And you are the best man that I have ever met. You too. May God be with you. And you too. I will see you as soon as I finish. 
And I know the gods will make you catch big fish in the glass. You see. Take my leave. Do take care of you. And you too. Be okay. safe. All right. Around. Nana, how did you know I was here? The heart of a desperate man is unpredictable. What it seeks, it must definitely find. I am here to know the answer of my proposal. I have told you and I will keep telling you, I am not interested in your proposal. The only man that I am interested in is, is Atama. That's the only person I love. You should get that into your head. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. So you've been turning me down because of that feeble he goat. Don't you ever. Don't you ever insult that man because he's hundred times better than the man that you are. Yes. You insult me. And I will insult you again. Thank the gods. That you know who I am. I am Chinedu, the most deadliest amongst the youth of Omaru Kingdom. I hear you. I am here to collect my share. Now!
and then Naya. Papa. Mm, I totally enjoyed this food. Mm? You cook just like your mother. Thank you, Papa. Mm? Remember, mm? I promise I'll always take care of you. I know, and you're doing it. Uh, <laughs> you are taking care of me. Thank you, Papa. Mm -hmm. They will. The gods never let us down. Hmm? No. The gods never let us down. My daughter. Mm -hmm. Thank you, mm -hmm. Papa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I still have some uh, firewood in the bush. Um, where is your brother? I, I think th he has to go and bring it. Yeah, I think he is inside. Mm -hmm. Hey, yo. Uh, 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 what is that your name again? Ulaku. Um, Maze Kweme's daughter. Uh -huh. Why are you running as if uh, you are being pursued by a masquerade? Nay, nah, I saw Atama and Machi standing in front of Chinedu's corpse with a cutlass. Which Chinedu? My Chinedu? <laughs> is it lie? I just left Chinedu in the hut now. Yes, uh, uh, Chinedu is still alive, so they cannot be standing by his corpse. I am sure they killed him. It's a lie. The cutlass they are holding is stained with fresh blood. I just left Chile. Chile do Where did you say they are? Let me take it there. Papa, Papa. we do? Listen, no matter what happens, do not admit you killed him. But, but, but I did. I know, beloved. This is between us, okay? Nobody's going to know about this. To deserve this. Look at my son. I have no more hair. <laughs> Can anyone imagine such love and sacrifice that we shared? I was willing to sacrifice my own life just to save you. A sacrifice that took the life of my parents who offered their life in exchange for mine. Think about this, my love. Please be calm. Be calm. Please be calm. For love is a fire that neither life or death can quench. Let's live for love. Please go and let your spirit rest in peace. Long live your majesty. I wish to see you. You wish to see me? Yes. I have a surprise for you at the palace. Oh no, I am not in the mood for games, so state your mission. It is a surprise my king could even like to lose his life to see. If it is a game, I take my life as a bet, your majesty. You sound so confident. Yes. So shall we see this, your surprise that is what a king's life and about having your head hung on a spike. 
Your Majesty, come after me. Are you, Your Majesty? She, Olamma, is your soulmate, existing in a far away kingdom, just like your late lover, Mama. They both existed separately, but one body and soul. Both of you are meant to be together on a special day like this. All that has happened was the making of the gods. Your love is immortal. Just like you swore an oath before the gods. That oath brought both of you together. Neither life nor the world beyond shall both of you be separated. Your love, I mean, your cries for a lost love has finally brought her back to you. Rejoice! Oh, you mortals! For that which you seek is right before you. Rejoice! My great people! For this great kingdom is about to be blessed with a great king and a queen ordained by the gods. Rejoice, my love. For we shall forever be together. In good fortune and in mishap. In life and in death. According to our oath. I am waiting for your arms, my love. No matter what the circumstance, these are strange. I am waiting for your arms, my love. It's a lover, it's a lover, sicker. On a susa, manifest in a serica. A check at the check at the Adika Gay. The king and the queen. Cheers. <laughs> 